Dana, Sila, and Pawana. Just be good. The Buddha advice is to do good, avoid evil, and purify the mind. In practice everyday terms, this means the practice of Dana, Sila, and Pawana. What is Dana? This simple means giving or charity or helping others. This can be practiced in many different ways. You can do so through speech by using kind and encouraging words with others. Even giving something as simple as a smile can help another if it cheers them up and brightens their day. You can always lend a hand to anyone who needs help you can volunteer you effort or your resource to the less fortunate. You can also share the Buddha teachings to anyone who is interested in them. It can be greatest gift of all. However, try to do all this without regret. Discrimination or ulterior motive practice dana with kindness, compassion, and empathy. Sila. This means morality and Buddha advice us to observe the five precepts in the cultivation of Sila. 1. Abstain from killing any living beings. 2. Abstain from taking what is not given. 3. Abstain from sexual misconduct. 4. Abstain from lying and fair speech. 5. Abstain from the abusive consumption of intoxicants and drugs. These precepts are not commandments but are rules that Buddhists take upon themselves to observe. They are observed not because of fear of punishment but because we realize that such actions harm others as well as ourselves. For example, as we ourselves do not wish to be killed or harmed, we realize that all other beings also do not wish to be killed or harmed. Likewise, as we do not wish to be victim of thief, adultery, lies, and slander, we ourselves should avoid doing such act to others. The Buddha also strong advocated avoiding intoxicants and drugs. This is because once you have come under the influence of alcohol or illicit drugs, you are capable of committing any act that you would not have done otherwise. Should you break the precept, the Buddhist way is to be fully aware that you have done so. Try your best to make amends, that then resolve to try harder from then on. Morality is the foundation which everything else rests upon. It thus might be good to memorize of five precepts. So, you can mindful of them at all time. And once the observing of the five precepts become an instinctive part of your behavior, developing its positive aspects will come easily and naturally. 1. The practice of harmlessness and compassion. 2 the practice of kindness and generosity. 3. The practice of faithfulness and responsibility. 4. The practice of truthfulness and present speech. 5. The practice of self-control and mindfulness. Pawana Pawana means the practice of mind cultivation or simply meditation. Meditation can be said to 
purifying the mind by making it easier to develop generosity and compassion, and then to finally acquire wisdom. Buddhist meditation is usually classified into two types, vipassana or insight meditation and samatha or concentration meditation. There are many forms of samatha meditation and metta or loving kindness meditation is one of its more widely practiced forms. All these types of meditation have their benefits. However, it is usually recognized that it is through the practice of vipassana or insight meditation that we can come to fully know ourselves and that through this we will be able to better realize and understand the Buddha's teaching and to see things as they truly are. Meditation can be said to be highest form of Buddhist practice as the Buddha himself attain enlightenment through meditation. You do not need long meditations as such to being with even a short 10 to 20 minutes session every day or every other day will be wonders.